Yo, it's your boy Adam. I'm going to be showing you the best 100k meta squad that you can build. Maybe you just started out on FIFA or you've used up all your coins on packs. Whatever the case is, it's 100k. They're very good. I'm going to be also discussing the best chemistry styles for them as well. Before we get started, if you'd like to help support my channel, then you could do so by subscribing to my channel and also liking this video. Okay, so we'll start with the defense. Furlan Mendy is an absolute tank on this game. He's already strong and fast, so I recommend running him with a shadow. The alternative is going to be the anchor. Ede Militao, he's an absolute problem on this game. I hate coming up against him and his other version. He's very good at everything. He's just, it seems to be in the right place at the right time. And anchor or shadow is also best for him. It depends. If you want absolute pace, then obviously you're going to opt for the shadow. If you want a bit more stand tackling and feel like they need a bit more strength, then the anchor is going to suit them more. Personally, I'd run the whole back four on the shadow because a lot of players on this game are very fast, so it's quite hard to keep up with them. Definitely, if you're gonna, if you want to use someone at anchor, then I'd definitely recommend using Lenglet on the shadow and Mendy. And if you're going to use the anchor, then Militao or Semedo. Right, so the goalkeeper, Alfonso Ariola, he's six foot five. He's very good on this game as well. Real Madrid's goalkeeper, run him on a basic because you get plus 10 on everything. It's the best chem style to use on most goalkeepers as well. Okay, so we started this with the 4 3 3 just to give them maximum chemistry, but using custom tactics, you can obviously change the formation depending on what tactics you choose in game. A 4 2 3 1 very popular and it suits this very well because you've got two CDMs and four forwards. Right, the chemistry also, this is a hundred chemistry when you've got the right manager and you've got the loyalty, but also the player position. Lucas Mora is on 10 chem if you put him as a centre mid, so you've got to change him to cam and then centre mid, but you can just buy him off the market as a centre mid. A lot of people already do it. Okay, we'll start with the midfielders now. Frankie De Jong, he's good at everything. He's good at dribbling. He's quite strong, good at defending, and he's quite pacey. I'd recommend using a shadow on him. Moses is so cool. Great sprint speed. 90 strength. He's six foot two. He's huge. He's very annoying. I hate coming up against him all the time. Either an engine on him to give him a bit more agility, dribbling, and a couple other stats, or a shadow to give him more pace and defending. Lucas Mora. He's four star, four star. He's very good on this game. High medium, which is good work rates as well. He's fast, he's agile. He's okay at shooting as well. A dead eye or a hunt eye is going to be best for him, depending on what stats you'd actually prefer to buff, whether you want more speed or you'd want more passing, shooting, or curve. Right, Dembele, Musa Dembele, five star, five star. That's unbelievable, especially for his price. High medium, that's great work rates. He's very fast, he can shoot, he can pass, he can dribble, he's got it all, really. I recommend a dead eye on him or a sniper, marksman, even a hunter. His preference, really. Obviously, the dead eye and the sniper is going to give him the most finishing as opposed to a hunter. I would personally run that with a dead eye just because I'd like to buff his curve and also buff his shooting stats. Right. Wissam Ben Yedda, I hate coming up against this guy. He's got like a million versions. He's very annoying to play against. And the reason, main reason for that is because four star, five star, that five star weak foot is so effective. It's very good on this game. Best chem style for him is just outright going to be a hunter to give him 10 more sprint speed and 10 more acceleration, make him a lot more pacey, gives him five more finishing as well. So he gets quite a lot, well over 90. And yeah, he's just a very good card on this game a huge problem Anthony Marshall last but not least he's fast he's good at dribbling he's good at shooting he's quite strong he can finesse it as well he's got it all as well a hunter card is probably going to be best for him just so you can give him max pace give him 87 finishing with that and yeah he's a very good card on this game as well I think that's the best 100k meta squad that you can build on ultimate team I hope I don't come up against you I hope you have a lot of success with it though yeah, that's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's been your boy. That leaves me one more thing to say. Safe.